guys welcome back i told you guys i was gonna be here more often and i am keeping my word today i'm here with this a really i uh, would like to call it a vintage eyeshadow look i'm not gonna lie this was a suggestion that my husband had and i'm really happy with how it came out i'm really happy also with the fact that it, it didn't take that long to create um, mondays are really busy for me i usually go to work come home clean and meal prep um, for the rest of the week um, for my husband and then sometimes I try to make dinner for two or three days for the week but um, today I put that aside and I made this video and I thought it was going to take me a lot longer but it didn't so if you want to try and recreate this look it didn't take me longer than 30 minutes I mean to me that's not a lot usually when I do a full glam it takes me about an hour hour and a half but if 30 minutes is not a lot for you then this look will work for you if this is the look that you're going for i try to do every step by step if i miss something let me know just give me some feedback over here okay so again if you want to see how i created this look um just keep on watching so for primer i am going to be using what i used last time which is a poreless pretty primer by elf uh this is i think this is the only primer that, that i've been using lately i need to get new ones um, i do have other ones but i feel like i have really big pores in this area and this primer seems to cover them up so i apply this to those areas and then finish up with some tapping and then i do go around my lips especially on the outer lips. I tend to get really dry there. Oh, by the way, I did add moisturizer with some oils on my face. So if you can see that glow, that's what it is coming from. So for foundation, I will be using the NARS Sheer Glow. I really like this foundation. This is one of my go-tos. And then I just apply it to my face with my finger. Then I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. sponge. See how that completely covered my whole face and it doesn't look so matte it still looks glowy i love it i try not to add too much um product on my forehead because i don't know if you can tell but my forehead is always so much darker than the rest of my face i don't know why it's just how my forehead is i guess okay Okay, there goes that okay so for concealer i am using the elf 26 hour camo concealer this is my first time using it so i have no comments about it we're gonna see how it works okay it's very warm it's very light i mean i should have seen that when i applied it but some concealers, once you start applying them, um, they kind of blend into the skin or with the foundation. This one is really, yep, it's really staying true to its color. Oh wow. Oh wow. I think I'm going to have to add more foundation. Oh no. Oh, we can make it work. It's very light though. I think for around my lips, I need to start using a corrector. If you can tell, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but around my lips, it always gets darker because it is. It naturally is. But I feel like when I add a concealer, which defeats the purpose of why I add it, <laughs> um, it feels like it emphasizes it a little bit more. Or at least I can tell because I'm looking at it. Yeah, it works. It doesn't look so bad. Okay, so it does dry fast. Maybe I didn't work too fast um, to blend it, but... Oh, and even though it kind of dried, it, it's blending really good. Huh. I have other concealers that will probably just stay there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit on the tip of my nose. Just because I did that last time, one of the, the reels that I was doing, and I really like how it came out. I don't know. I give it another form to my nose. Like I applied it on the tip of my nose, and then I slightly started blending it up. And right now, it looks like it's giving my nose a different form. I, I don't know. I like that. There goes that with the concealer. I think I'm pretty happy with the coverage. I didn't... I don't want it to look like too fake. I think we all know it's fake. Okay, now with this. So to set my
my whole face, I will be adding the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Okay, I'm going to apply this. So what I did, I put a little bit on, on the sponge and then on the lid, I do this because I don't want I don't want the excess powder. I mean, I could bake, but I've never liked doing that. So that's what I do. Then it's really on the sponge and then I applied it on the under eyes first. Get done with that part. I really like how that concealer brightened up me, uh, me under eye, my under eye. And then I put it all over my nose because I get really oily on my nose. And then slightly, very slightly around my mouth because around my mouth it gets really dry. So I don't want to, I don't want to add too much dry products around that. And then I just do around my face and then on the middle of my forehead and then work my way out. Okay, so for bronzer, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth for normal to dry skin. This is a foundation, a, a pressed powder foundation, but I do use it as bronzer. I feel like it really works with my skin tone. I have to be really careful with the colored bronzers and foundations that I buy because most of them are not yellow enough. I guess my skin tone is very yellow. So I'm going to apply it on right under my cheekbone, kind of like a blush. Maybe a year ago, I would have had added it right in between my cheek and the bottom part of my face. But now I add it here just because I've been trying to keep up with the makeup trends. And I tried it and I really liked how it changed my facial features. And what I do, I like to do is always with the bronzer, go close to the the, um, winked, the outer part of my eyelid and then also add some bronzer right there kind of mixing it with the bronzer i really like how once you add the eyeshadow it kind of like gives it like a seamless blend then i just apply it all around my forehead and for that double chin we apply it on the double chin and once you do that you kind of form like a straight line on your jawline so I'm going to change the brush to a little smaller one. This is an M405 and I am using again the same foundation as a bronzer. Now I'm going to kind of shape my nose. So nothing special. I just try to put it on the sides and under my nose on the bottom part of the nose. So far that's how I like doing my nose. I have not found another way that I like doing it. For blush, I will be using the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula with the brush from Morphe and E4. I really like these. Um, I have like two or three. And just make sure you add it on the outer part, highest, highest point of your cheek, kind of where you would be adding the highlight. For the highlight, I will be using the Dose of Colors highlight and the shade Fuego. And as usual, you add that to the top of your cheeks. Keep the bow of my lips and on my chin. And I will also be adding some in the middle of, oh, what is the nose bridge? This is the nose bridge, right? Yes. Really quickly before I move on to eyeshadow, I will be adding like a brow gel on my eyebrows. And, I've, and for that, I will be using the wild brow from elf so i just apply it see how i like it lifts the lips up my eyebrow there you go so i do kind of like it because it doesn't lift up too much my eyebrows but it does give them some volume and shape so i think i will be using this more often okay now moving on to eyes for the eyes anyways so I will be using the same palette I used on the last video, which is the um, Forever Flawless Fire for Makeup Revolution. And we're going to start, I feel... <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm going to add a little bit of concealer over my eyelids. Not too much, just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. That's it. And I'm going to blend it out with a morphe m167 so yes i'm just gonna blend that out i'm blending that out 
and like I said, I should, I mean, I could put uh, eyeshadow primer, but I feel like make eyeshadow concealer work just as well. And since I'm trying this new concealer, I want to see how that one works over the eyelid as well. For the crease, but I'm going to slightly blend it. I don't want like a harsh cut crease shade. I just want to slightly add some shadow to my crease. Are you going to blend it out? How are you guys doing with this summer? Are you guys going out every weekend to the coast? We're not going out to the coast or to the river or anything like that, but we do try to stay indoors. And I don't mind it. Actually, I love staying indoors. Okay, you see how like there's no specific area where the eyeshadow is. I just wanted to add some depth. Depth? I just wanted to add some depth to my crease. And then on the end, I kind of like blend it out okay so we're gonna leave the crease like that now for this part of my eyelid i will be using the nubian by juvia's and i'm for that one i'm just using this shade right here and just tap it okay nicely blended so i decided to keep using this palette for the eyeliner just because it has like really nice brown tones really i really like this really dark brown so i will be using that one to start lining my eyeliner and to start that i will be using the morphe m213 it's this really tiny brush i really love these for whenever i'm doing the cut crease and i am adding the the bottom part of the cut crease these really help to stay really sharp with those details i might have to like zoom you guys in a little bit because this one might take a little bit more effort well it will take more effort okay So I, every time I do an eyeliner, whether it's milked out or gel liner, I start with the other part of my eyelid and then work my way in. So on the tail, I'm not really doing like a sharp tail. I'm pulling the eyeshadow that I already have on the eyelid and then I'm pulling it out and blending it out that way I'm forming my winged eyeliner. Do you get what I mean? Okay, now that I have my eyeliner placed, I slightly, very slightly and carefully start blending it and smoking it out because I don't want a harsh eyeliner. I just want it to be kind of like smoked out. okay so i'm happy with this eye i'm gonna move on to this eye and then i'll come right back up okay so now i'm back with both eyeliners and i feel like i need more darkness near the lash line so i will be adding black to the lash line uh, but i try really hard not to go overboard because it's black so for the black i will be using the forever flawless again the palette that i was using um, for the eyeshadow and I am using the shade Coal, which is a dark black. I will be adding that very close to the lash line. And I don't blend it. I just add it to the lash line and move on. Move on. Move on. Maybe try to form the, the wing just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Ooh. I'm liking it. Okay, so I'm liking that you can see a winged eyeliner, but you cannot see the harsh line where it starts 
from top to bottom so that's what I was going for I don't know if I want to add anything on my bottom lash line I think I'm just gonna yeah I am no yes no okay typically for my bottom lash line I add the same shades that I add on the top lash line but this time I want it to stay simple so I'm just gonna add the lightest shade that I use actually no I'm just gonna use the shade that I use on the crease and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and add ashes to the bottom lash line okay and I really blend that out there we go you can see then I'm just going to add mascara to my lashes so I can go ahead and move on to lashes. See, this look was pretty quick. So I'm just adding uh, for mascara. Mascara? For mascara, I'm using Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal. It is L'Oreal. Okay, so I'm just adding that to the top lashes first because I will be adding it to the bottom lashes as well. And then also be adding it to the bottom lashes whoa those are long lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and add a second layer to the bottom lash line just because I feel like adding a little something to the bottom lash line I'm really liking how they're looking right now so I want to see how it looks with the second coat whoa <laughs> I don't I don't know how I feel about it let's see how it looks with the lashes are you done i guess not so i really like these lashes but no se va a poder because i have a wing tie you know what so for lashes i will be using um some pixie lashes from kiss these are really really natural and i wanted to keep it natural because i wanted to show my eyeliner and if i put some really voluminous and big eyelashes it would pretty much hide my whole eyeliner so i'm gonna keep my eyelashes simple and just add these pixie lashes from kiss well you're gonna see them because i have it in the package right here but i don't know if you guys can see them you're gonna see them on my eyelids right now go there goes one Ooh. okay there goes these lashes can you tell that it makes it did make a huge difference on how the eyes look but it doesn't completely hide the eyeliner and that's what I wanted so I'm really liking how this look is ending up and I almost forgot to add something in the inner corner of my eyelids I'm not sure I'm debating whether I should add like a very light matte color or a sparkly light color i think i'm gonna add whew, let's try to use the same palettes i already had i'm gonna use the shade uh, bonfire from the makeup revolution palette forever flawless and it's like a really really dust dusty pink Ooh, i'm liking it more and more okay so for the final part of this whole look and the one that I was looking forward the most to is the lips. And it's going to be the Maybelline New York Super State Matte Ink. I love this liquid lipstick, especially the red lip. I have my favorite one. It's the darkest shade, um, the darkest red. It's Pioneer. I think this is the darkest one or at least this is the darkest um, that I owned. I really love this in winter. I I use it almost every single time that we go out. So yes, um, I think I've bought a replacement like two, two times already. Yes, but for today we're going with the lightest shade just because it's summer but it's still red. It's just more like an orangey red. So here goes nothing. Okay, for this one, I don't line my lips. I just, I'm just really careful when I do line the lips. So I take care of lining the lips and then I just fill it up. And it is like really pointy, so it does allow me to be more careful to where I add it. Yes, 
ticklish. It's really tense. So this is a complete look. What do you think? I like it. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it. And if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas, just drop it down in the comments and I will take them in consideration. If you guys do have suggestions, then I will pick a date in which I can upload those videos. I will leave everything that I use in the description down below. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you did, then I hope to see you guys in the next video. So until next time, guys, bye. Oh, no. No, 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 no.